Yeah, it has been a while. Um, just to kind of recap a little bit over the past month is we had seven days off for, for Christmas, um, and then our girls came back, and they we had a really good three days of, of practice, and and then we were able to go to Texas Women and pull out a win um, it, from start to finish. It, it We were pretty much in, in control. Um, they made it a run and made it pretty interesting towards the end, but we were able to finish that off. But it was a, a great win. Um, as just as we've been talking about is conference games are – are hard no matter who you're playing no matter what you think their record are it's a it's a very well coached um, conference uh, the teams are are always very challenging so but they were able to you know get Texas women uh, Oklahoma Christian the crazy um, ending there and um, winning by two um, and just obviously the our last game um, yeah everything has been pretty a, a good challenge for us Coach, it seems like the team has really kind of stepped into their own, finally found their stride after that slower start to the start of the season. You guys are top 25 in both offensive field goal percentage and defensive field goal percentage. Scoring margin, you guys are up there. Turnover rate, assist to turnover ratio, total turnovers forced. It seems like the Patriots are just doing everything correctly right now. What has been the key over these last couple weeks, especially around that Christmas break time, that you guys have just found a different year? You know, I think that break was helpful. You know, obviously they could be able to go back and reflect. And you know, as as a coaching staff, we reflected too in areas that we probably need to improve on. And we we still have a high ceiling for for our growth, but it's just daily habits, um, being consistent in what we are trying to accomplish as as the team. And we're going to continue to do that. There, I'm hoping that there's more of the other girls, especially from the bench, that are going to you know, buy into the defensive side. And, but I'm really happy with how we're playing, um, our leadership, and hopefully we just can continue to keep striding forward and keep growing as a team. Coach, hit the road this week, got to take on St. Edwards and St. Mary's, two teams that have kind of been a little stingy for us back you know, over the last couple of seasons. But you guys have come away with wins. You know, how important is it to go down there and come away with road wins? I know you talk about road wins in this conference and how good they are. Yeah, I mean, just being, again, being consistent, just going on the road and, and hopefully we play well and shoot the ball, shoot the ball well in, in their gym. But, yeah, we, we, we want to try to win as many as we can um, and not take anything for granted. Coach, you know, one last thing. You guys on Saturday afternoon set a D2 record, D2 program record for made three-pointers. You know, was that just something that just kind of clicked on offense that day? I know the offense has been kind of trending in that direction, but really, I mean, 15 made threes. I know Mariah Neal had five of them. Five different Patriots had at least two of them. Just, the offense just found a way. Yeah, you know, I, I a lot of the girls are spending a little bit more time in the gym, so maybe that, that has helped. But – confidence I, I think there's no hesitation now now when when they're shooting it, it, it I, I feel a little bit better now because it just you, you could tell that they're a lot more confident so and that goes a long way